hello hope you're doing great I wanted to uh, give you this video because one of my coaching clients asked me a very very interesting question and I wanted to answer her and answer all of you if you had the same question perhaps so I have this uh, coaching client triple her rates uh, she's a consultant in a specific field and um, as many coaches and consultants she wasn't uh, pricing her offer properly maybe many of you don't know how to price your offers maybe you don't know how to increase your prices how to stop being paid by the hour I know that's a big big problem uh, big issue with uh, a lot of you guys out there so anyway she was able to finally break through that uh, that mental barrier that imposter syndrome and triple her rate offered that new rate to a client and realized that the client absolutely didn't budge on the price so her barrier was actually her own inner barrier maybe it is also with you I know for most of you that's the case that's a, a problem with your inner self maybe your self-esteem your imposter syndrome uh, the ability to know how to price your offer or the ability to know how to present uh, an offer at a certain price so those are all problems that uh, I help people solve but nonetheless so now that she solved that problem her question was <clears throat> sorry her question was about um, so what do I do next so now she was afraid that because she increased her prices she would want to be extremely perfectionist and freak, freaked out on what do how will I now serve that client at that price um, you know how will I manage all those expectations and how will I provide for the services um, with that that client at that much higher price and so this is my answer to her and to many of you once you finally achieve uh, the possibility to increase your prices uh, which again you know reach out to me uh, if you need me to help you with that and I'll I'll give you uh, an answer for that at the end of this this answer <laughs> but uh, what you can do basically is um, manage the expectations of the client so once you give out the price and the client is uh, ready to sign or has signed a contract or has paid you uh, that's when you start managing the expectations so you explain what your role will be exactly so that the people don't expect to receive much more than what they paid for or what you're willing to do but to understand this concept a little better imagine you uh, you have a, 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 a surgeon that you need help from you won't ask the surgeon to wash your hair you know walk your dog clean your house you expect the surgeon to do one thing so your role here is to explain precisely what you will do for that money and to again not be terrified by the price that you uh, received or that you charged so you need to break again from that imposter syndrome to know that it's okay <laughs> and that's a big job and then after that is really all about managing expectations in the contracts that I have my clients sign there's a one full page about managing expectations so that they really know uh, what they're getting in, into and so that there's no false expectations or uh, that you know n things are not as clear as I would like them to be so I hope this answers your question if ever you had it if ever you had that same question and I'd love for you of course to write comments below and if you're interested in uh, you know multiplying your revenue by three by five by ten I strongly suggest you join my coaching group I have a coaching group where I help uh, coaches uh, consultants professionals uh, people of different uh, different areas of life help them to find clients how to find clients on Facebook on LinkedIn how to create the right prices how to create an offer how to sell the four stages of a million dollar call how to make the right 
uh, process to close a sale and what to do after. So it's a very particular coaching group where you have access to a platform where there's over 200 different courses, but on top of it, you get one-on-ones with me and you are within a coaching group, a mastermind, well, you get to be supported and helped with other members and peers. So I hope this helps. If you're interested, please uh, write a comment below. And uh, of course, I hope this video helped you uh, figure out what to do in that particular situation. Thank you.